Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO. Hey, man, and it's I'm here with the lovely, amazing Miss Jamaica. I'm in H Town. Hey, man, this is where it all go down, man. What's going on, Miss Jamaica? Not, 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 you know, my dad. I was just wondering what you was going to come with because the way how you just slowed that down before you brought that in, I was like, hold up, what is he about to say? Yeah, you know, I started to screw it down. You know, I am in H Town. You know what I'm saying? I've been on that serve all day. So. You've been on this what? <laughs> You've been on this what? <laughs> so hold on, is that where Sir originated from? I gotta ask you, you just related it to Houston, like, like that's where it came from or something? Oh, you down here where everything slowed, screwed up. This the screwed up click, the, 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 the man is slowed down. Check it out, man. See Green is in the building. Yeah, you already know, man. S double E, the fly fat boy, man. Let's get to it, man. Yeah. Man, I hey man, listen, man. Uh you down in H Town, but you're originally from New York. Yeah, the nine. What Wimbrook. part? I'm from the nine, nine one four, Winbrook, Black Plains, man. Get you it. know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, why how long you been here? Oh, uh, I've been here since uh youngin', but I moved back and forth. Uh I'll come here for a year or two, go back to New York, but I've been permanently here since about 21. Oh. 22. Yeah, but I've been moving back and forth since uh, I went to middle school here, middle school in New York, high school here, high school in New York, graduated from New York, came back out here. But you ain't got here. no Texas accent at all. Nah, nah, but I'm very respected out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, let's talk about the boroughs. Let's talk about the... Let's talk about the, the, the let's talk about what, 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 what was you from? Nah, the nah, I'm from the nine. Yeah, I'm from Winbrook, the projects, Black Plain. You know what there I'm saying? Is. I ain't from no borough. We the outskirts. It's by Black, it's by Yonkers, Mount Vernon. You know, Yonkers is where D Block, Styles P, Jada Kiss, DMX, Mary J. Blige, Mount Vernon, Denzel Washington, Heavy D. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Black Plains, we got Art Monk. You know what I'm saying? All, I'm like, yeah, I'm from the nine, man. But if I that. say, listen, every name you said, only one stuck out to me. What? That damn Jada Kiss. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. You see nine. him on the wall when you walk in mm -hmm. the store, nigga, me and Jada Kiss, nigga, that's what it is. I, when, whenever he did that uh, versus and he, and he stood in, in, in his position, I already knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, 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 nigga. I already knew yeah. that, and I just put the picture up right where me and him took our picture together, nigga, and posted to my nigga. Y'all niggas say, nigga, I told y'all, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Stop De playing, nigga. Yeah, he definitely stood on business with that versus. He represented very well, man. You I think he kind of brought him, brought him, brought him out of a. Lo a location where he was already special But said nigga this is real special Yeah yeah you know the meme going on They saying he dropped 62 that night At Madison Square Garden on Dipset So you know I was rooting for him anyway You know them some of my favorite rappers You know, So you saying? don't ride with, with camera and I mean man. they cool for sure but I'm from the 9 I'm a D block DMX Rough Riders Like I grew up on that like Square business like, wow. you know what I'm saying I grew up on that that's like What, what that guy named One Shot Deal Oh yeah, one shot deals. Yeah, he he was from down there too. Oh, you from the now? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't and he know. he used to have, he was a DMX and DMX. It, it may be in that same oh, area. Oh, was he his artist? Uh, he may have been. He from he, he lived in Atlanta. Atlanta. I, I think I heard. I yeah, think I heard he of him, he like, used to be around him a lot. I like, think I heard of him. He yeah. probably know my uh, dude. Shout out Coley. Coley was like you know DMX protege for sure from uh. Slow bombs. Yeah, my you know boy. Lil Zane, shout out Lil Zane, who say he went down there and, and DMX respected him when he went down there with them bars. Mm -mm. Lil Zane. <laughs> yeah, nigga, why y'all quiet, nigga? <laughs> y'all niggas quiet, nigga. Hey, hey you feel me? Y'all niggas be tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but niggas this ain't worth nothing, man. Like let's say I'm gonna pull it up when I play this part. Let's say he went out there and gave them boy the business in New York. Nigga, y'all nigga gonna have to ride with that. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I off. can't get this to plow with these <laughs> niggas. Ain't nobody really just bag him. I don't feel bagged in this whole situation. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but that's my boy, though, man. Shout out to my boy Lil Zane. He on BMF, the, the, the series, man. And uh, yeah, he always showed me love in Atlanta. But he damn sure said he went out and gave them boys the business down there. They don't make say, what? You? It was like, yeah, yeah. So you? how old were you when you got into the music? Uh, I've been rapping since a youngin', since I was in middle school. I was leading the Five Rule the World chant in elementary. You know what I'm saying? My hood known me for rapping. Everybody know, like, they knew I was going to be a like an artist. I've been, this shit is embedded in me. You so know? where you get it from? 
Your daddy I don't and your know. mama? I'm going to keep it real. My mom, when I was younger, my mom used to, I got one of them hit moms. When I was younger, I was six, seven, eight years old. We bumping Jay-Z. Like, we not, my mom got no normal mom. My mom used to play freestyle and, you know what I'm saying? I got kind of a hit mom, big earring, hoop wearing mom mm -hmm. when I was younger, one of them. So, you know, straight out the hood, so. I don't know. I mean, it's just been in me. It's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? It's just second nature to me. It's crazy to me because you from New York, but you've been in Texas all these years, bro. You know our history. And we yeah, know yours, nigga. Yeah. Don't try that like we all know I yours, said, nigga. Listen. Yeah, I'm friends with EPMD, nigga. No. Don't play, nigga. Hey. The green eye band, the nigga that's my nigga, man. Nah, I'm really a transplant. Yeah, that's what I I'm see, really a nigga. transplant because, uh, like, you know, I grew up on Zero versus the World. I remember going to get tapes, Youngster and TYP and all that, and going to Kavana Shop in Mo City. Shout out Mo City. That's my Houston hood, BGT. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Um, I remember doing all that. Like, you know, I got a crash course in the Houston history because, you know, it was like a, it was like kind of like, you know, my world got flips up, flipped upside down. I'm leaving the projects. Now I'm moving to Mo City. But I've been coming out here also. I used to come out here and spend summers out here. So I'm kind of rooted in Texas. I'll be leaving the projects five, six. I've, I've been flying on the plane since I was five, six, seven years old by myself. Because they used to have it. I don't know if they yeah, still do. Yeah, tenants used yeah. to do, yeah. Every summer I leave New York, I come to Houston. Like, I've been out. Like, I'm really best of both worlds. So you know what I'm saying? So, you going back and forth. Was your daddy out here or something? Nah, or my, who my, was out my here? My grandma graduated TSU and just stayed out here. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she graduated TSU in the 70s, just stayed out here. So, mm -hmm. you know, I was one of them New York kids that went down south for every summer. And, you know, it showed me that it's bigger than my hood, you know. I was living a totally different life when I come out here. I'm Sega Channel and swimming lessons, and I'm hanging with all my Ace Town boys. Like, I got friends to this day that know me since I was coming out here and visiting every summer. You know what I'm saying? I want to know. So, um, I've always heard people say this. Since you know the both worlds, is this true? That up north, they be thinking that down south rappers or whatever be acting like they're slow. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say they, well, now it's kind of changed. I think the culture definitely has, uh, the bars definitely, they got some niggas from down south that be kicking that shit, but back in the gap, yeah. And then I'll play certain spitters from down south, and then they'll be amazed when I'm a young nigga up top, because I'm like a hip-hop, like, guru, like, I love this shit, like, I damn near study this shit. You can ask my dude right here, like... When it come to music, I'm I'm one of them. Wait till your album drop at twelve o'clock, and I'm tapping into your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I really want to see what you working with. No pause. But you and I both know, them boys respect the Scarface up there. Oh yeah, they love. That's one thing they love. He, he love wear the New fame. York hat and everything. Yeah, love. I used fame. to get mad as hell when the nigga wear that hat. Now you know, and then Jay, nah, I'm being real. Nah, listen, I want him to hear this. He need to hear this because he watch balls talk. When I seen Scarface wearing that damn New York hat, I used to just look at it like, what the hell is he wearing that hat for? And I used to be having an attitude about that. I ain't gonna lie, and it was wrong. I should, God forgive me, you know, cause Scarface, I thought he had lost his damn mind wearing that New York hat, but the nigga just was showing love cause they love him up there. And I, I, had, I had to just embrace that. But it still was tough because I wanted that nigga to have them longhorns over there to come all the way across that old just like yeah. <laughs> but you know he uh man listen my favorite rapper is um he looked up to Scarface Jay my favorite rapper so I got had a I got the utmost respect for Scarface like as far as lyricism and man come on man you like, know I always tell niggas if you go I, get Jay I'm gonna go get Face yeah I was bumping hey Jay <laughs> Jay get faces Jay get faces flowers I, every I, chance I know he that gets. I know that. that Face was influenced him, and hey, listen, that's hard. I, mean, I was bumping the diary at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I'm yeah. really like I'm nine years old. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Bumping the diary, like I remember. I'm young. Never seen a man cry till I seen man, a man God, die. I'm that's telling hard, you, ain't it? I come in that. I come down south, and then I soak up all the culture. And then when I go up top. I tell them about what I learned there. Because, you know, they wasn't getting back then. The internet wasn't as prevalent it as it is now. It was So I'm bringing all type of shit up top. I'm bringing screw CDs all top. I'm doing all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? My niggas, boys. yeah, they like, oh, this kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? So I really... You know C. Saying? Green, y'all. He one of them guys. C. Green. Yeah. He loved the culture, man. He For wanted sure. the bridges, man, instead of the wall, man. He gave us a place to walk across from New York to Texas, back to New York, back to Texas, man. You got to respect him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I, real, yeah, man. Definitely. Thank you so much for that, bro. Yeah, like, I that's that, that that's yeah. what's needed, man. Like you got to have somebody that can help educate you, like a a prophet in 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 rhymes. Like you know how to go up and decide. Okay, he's saying this. Okay, yeah. they saying that, and then you you know you basically bridge the gap where there's communication gaps. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So that's that's hard, bro. Definitely, because they didn't understand the um the basis of screw and the concept of it. But when I told them, and then I also told them, you know. A lot of down south is a lot of downers, you know what I'm saying? So when you're listening to it, it kind of puts you in that mood. And then, you know, they kind of got it. And then, you know, it's just, it's like a teaching lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? But when I go down, when I used to come down south, I'll bring like fabulous and shit down south. You know what I'm saying? And all that, you know, the clue tapes and all that shit. Yeah. I've been bringing it down south, letting all my down south homies listen to it. And they like, damn, this shit, you know what I'm saying? So i always been like... I feel like that helped me with my man, artistry. We, we you know nothing, what I'm saying? Nothing really wasn't down south, man. Yeah. And it wasn't nobody but uh, really, you know, Run DMC and them. Uh, early on, it was Boogie Down Production. It was it was some dudes, man. It was the Fat Boys, man. Mm -hmm. And see, this is for you. Don't even try to get yeah, in the Yeah, nah, this is for me. You yeah, know, this, this is for me. This yeah. is, he was hollering cool G rap while go CT. It's some stuff going on, man. You know, where it was some people before. D Nice. My name is D Nice. My name is D Nice. Check him, yeah. check him mm -hmm. out. And yeah. you don't know how I did yeah. it. See, I'm a real, you know, I'm, yeah, I go yeah, back yeah. before all that. I, I go every B and Rock Kim, pay, man, paid and poor, yeah, all cool. that. I'm mm -hmm. not, I'm all the way back. Saying we respect I, LL Cool J. Right. What I'm telling you is there's a phase in there that people forget, and I know Jay know it. Mm -hmm. Let me just say that Jay know it. Of course. He have to know it because this is our history, and, and and that's why I always you know LL he kept it a long time. Like damn, he kept it a long time. Then he had some issues with Jay a little bit. That's your boy. So yeah. I know you, you know, don't want to. You know, you know, yeah, 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 I know you know rocking with him, but I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, he had some issues with no, him, you know what I'm saying? I, because it seemed like Jay didn't want to give him his props, man. Yeah, but it you know. It seemed like that. I'm going to keep it real. LL was one of the first, you know, LL was one of the first rappers that made it cool to be a rapper. And when I say cool, he appealed to not only the ladies, but he appealed to the fly guys, too. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, how should I put it? Like, you know, the rappers, before LL, it, I'm not going to say it wasn't cool. It was on... Like, you know, the rap with the, oh, the, no, 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 You know, it was almost kind of gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, well, you, you can know, say that yeah. about them, but then you can't forget about uh, Eric B. And nah, you, you know, you know how put it is. He changed the game. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> Rock Kim, you know what I'm saying? Rock Kim, uh, Rock Kim made it. He took it out that, uh, blah, 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 to real, his real lyricism and his delivery and how he put it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah, Rock Kim, probably the most, one of the most important rappers ever. He is, not probably. There ain't no probably. No problem. He changed the delivery but then of rap. You can't, you know, but you where does Biggie fall in all of that? Yeah, he, this but that's later on. That's later on. We talking about early when it started. We talking about MC. We talking about when it started. Yeah, yeah. And we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna just sit here and act like we don't know that uh, uh, them boys, uh, MC Shan. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, all yeah, the way yeah, in there, yeah, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. and all them. Yeah, yeah all yeah. this. See, you can't. Yeah. I met KRS and all them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them boys were bad. Yeah, yeah. So when I say that, I'm, I'm just saying the fact of how it came and layered in, and then you got boom, you got this next phase. People don't know what phases of New York. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just. It wasn't just. Uh, we just like this, you know. Papoose is another phase of New York. Yeah, but I mean, he. Yeah, I guess you could say he a phase, but I don't know too many people that's just, you know, hey, play that. I ain't knocking it. Let me not knock it, but I'm just like play for that me, Papoose. I'm, I'm not a. Super, you don't listen to Papoose. Nah, I don't. I'm not gonna lie. Like I listen to Papoose. Nah, I'm not a super lyrical, miracle spiritual. Hearing you, do you live? I'm not that. Like, sometimes I want to just jam. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might find me bumping some weird shit. Yeah, yeah. Not even weird. You know, just something that's out the element. But you know, you know your boy Maze held it down in Harlem, man. Yeah, May School. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. He held it down in Harlem. He preached and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. May you know School. <laughs> May School. But hey, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm, you might see me. I might have a whole Pimp C playlist on your ass. Ooh, like, that no, boy. No, I'm not, 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 Look I'm at us. Hey, you know I'm, all the music. I be fucking niggas' heads up when they start playing something. They be like, how does New York nigga know this? You know what I'm saying? You be on it. Straight up. You heard me say a while ago, eight bars. You was like, I don't believe that. Nah, I can't ride with that. But but, but, that, but Bum B just said, Pimp said, uh, Jay said, man, what you doing out here with that mean code on in the summer? You heard 
when you yeah, say yeah, yeah, yeah. Saint Thomas. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. Saint TV Saint can't tell temperature. Yeah, of course. You know, they, yeah, there's some fly niggas out there in Texas, it, man. I'm gonna keep it real. Pimp had the you know most influential eight bars of that song. You think so? so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the eight bars. Well, you gotta get. You know it. about them Texas boys? Yeah, come yeah, on. That's like, what I you know, said. Everybody knows that part. Like that's everybody know. know everybody knows all the lyrics. It's not like me now, though. But. Them, them eight bars right there is probably the most like significant bars of that song because everybody knows that stanza right there. Do you think it's because he just was being such a I ain't going down there and just the way he brought it all to fruition? I think it's his energy. He, I think it's how he delivered it in his bravado. And you know, sometimes on the track, man, it don't be the most lyrical shit that stick out. I learn that all the time. Sometimes it just be the realest shit from your heart, mm -hmm. and that's it. Don't gotta be, you know, it don't it don't gotta be the most witty or most lyrical shit. Sometimes it's the shit that a nigga know comes straight from your heart, and that shit stick out to you. That's hard. That's hard. You know, so so you 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 basically you you came down here, you jumping in these studios, eating these boys, ah, ah, boom, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, uh, I was coming, I've been going to the studio since I was like, let's say like 14. My partner Trey, uh, Mike Check Productions, he used to take me, sneak me into ACC. His girl worked with my mom and shit. You know what I'm saying? My mom used to work for a teacher's union. His girl okay. worked with my mom. He, my mom told him I could rap. He used to sneak me into ACC, town and country. They got a nice multi million dollar studio That's over hard. there, music program. That's I'm hard. a young nigga sneaking in. I'm like 14, we getting it in. I'm, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing my thing. So I'm really seasoned with the music and shit. So I'm just rapping, I'm rapping, but I'm not really dropping nothing and shit. So my partner Verge got him. You know, this year's down a lot. I, I got in trouble a lot too. I ain't gonna lie. I got in trouble in New York. I got in trouble here. So it kind of slowed me up a little bit and shit. So. My partner Verge Gotti was like, nigga, you should start battle rapping. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, battle rapping just got my juices flowing. Poles, you know what I'm saying? It got it got me going. And then from then on, I met my big bro Snipe RP, big influential person in my life. And then he kind of got me on track to the straight, just dropping bars in that lab. And you know, ever since then, I've been on the on the path like a motherfucker. Do you do you ever hear uh, Jay Z say Biggie is the greatest rapper there ever was? Do I ever hear him say yeah. that? Mm. I didn't hear him say it. I mean, you, I, I can't remember a time I heard him say. You heard him say, "Big yeah. Crazy Rapper." He, he, because they're from the same place. I think I mean, he more yeah, paying homage. He, he say, I've heard. I'm about to say, I heard him pay gratitude and homage to Biggie off top. For yeah, sure, definitely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I heard kissing them say that also. Yeah, kissing yeah. Styles and, and they they also say Biggie the greatest rapper. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just I just know that they do it, and sometimes is it is it coming from a place of I'm paying homage because this is a guy that made it you know made it cool to do what we're doing right here like this, or is it something they really feel you know? But we'll never know. We'll never know. You know, I definitely feel like Big was ahead of his time because the lyricism and, and the punchline, like what he had in '95, '93, '92, is still you know what I'm saying. Like he was just ahead of his time for sure. I always say this: Biggie was a better rapper than Pac, but Pac was more than a rapper. Yeah, I, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I, because rapping, I'm rap, not saying that. okay, that's over yeah. with. That just, that just in the interview. Nah, <laughs> just, hey, you know what? I'm, just listen, what I'm trying to say is that Pac was more than a rapper. Pac wasn't just in the punchlines and all that. You know, when rapping, I'm talking about artistry, punchlines, metaphors. You know, a delivery flow. Biggie was a better rapper. Pac was more than a rapper though. Pac was I, more, I, I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I get yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah, you know. But what I'm just saying? them album when it dropped, man, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know where you was at when when that uh Me Against the World dropped. I don't, you know, cause he really was not beefing with him at that time. Okay. And that Me Against the World came out, man, and it was like it was like, damn, I played it in my living room, nigga. I'll never forget it. Nah, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Pop, like, one of the best rappers ever. Like, I'm a Pac fan. Like, hell yeah. Like, Pac, man. Listen, I'm influenced by Pac and Biggie. There's no C. Green without a Pac and Biggie. I grew up to my my uncle, Solo, Big Boombox in 93, 94. I'm seven years old walking around my project pumping Pac. You know what I'm saying? With the bandana on, ball headed. You know what I'm saying? My uncle in New York. Like, I grew up on Pac. I remember waking up early in the morning to Pac. You, you know what I'm saying? That, Hell yeah. You remember that Dear, dear Mama song? Yeah, of course. Come on, man. So I remember playing. Brenda. Ain't nobody, what are you talking ain't about? No Brenda, Brenda dear Mama. Ain't no, I'm just saying, a, a song like that, you, you can, how can you put anything up and say, when you look at what he did yeah, on that yeah, song, yeah, yeah. bro? Yeah. Like like you talking about all, all this is cool. Don't get me wrong, but I've never heard nobody pay tribute to their mother like that on those. Nah, songs. yeah, yeah. And and you can say what you want to say. Go where you want to go. Go get the song and bring it. I wait. 
You're not gonna find nobody to pay tribute like that, bro. I was also uh, just to jump on top of the point you were talking about. I was listening to the radio the other day, and they had a throwback um, kind of mix, and uh, Pop "Keep Your Head Up" came on, Ooh. and I'm like, like this is crazy, like how far music has came. Like this was a radio hit, and look how much positive. Look, like I'm just listening to yeah. like "Keep Your Head Up," like. This is how far music has changed. You know what I'm saying? This was a radio hit, smash hit. Like, this is a major song back in the gap. And, man, we ain't got no positive. We ain't got nothing like no, that going. Yeah, they yeah, don't want to let yeah. that make it through no more, man. Yeah. Yeah, y'all don't want to. Don't they don't want to. No they don't want to. You rap that. Listen, listen, I'm going to keep, keep, keep it real. They want you to They want you to spread that, 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 that boo-boo out here. They want you to spread that uh, negative you know what I'm saying? They don't want you to be talking. They don't want you dropping too many gems. I ain't gonna lie to you. But no, they were both here. Go and ask him. He was down. Ask him. He was down. <laughs> <laughs> he like asked him. Like I was there. Like asked you know what he I'm was saying? down here. I'm not from down here. He was down there that nah, night when that happened. Hey, I was in my bed. You know? But he was down yeah. there, though. I was definitely down. Okay, he then he bed. should be able to tell you something about well, what's going heard, on. You heard the question. I don't have to repeat it. Right. He can go ahead and answer. Uh, you want to know what do I feel about what the takeoff yes. situation? Um, I just feel as though, man, sometimes when the, you know, man, street shit is unpredictable. So that's why you got to kind of move accordingly, and you got to kind of you know stay. In your, I'm not sure I put it, man. You got to just just to back up his. Me and him talk every day, so it's gonna sound like that, man. You got to move like you a multi million dollar nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to move like a business. You know, because the life is unpredictable by itself. So you just got to know to move accordingly, man, because ain't nothing. Hey, listen, one day you here, the next day you gone, man. That man, shit running to the left. That's, man, <laughs> hey, that song right there resonate with me. Like, mm -hmm. that shit for real with this shit. Like, one day you here, next day you gone. I'd have been to more funerals than weddings. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been to more funerals than graduations. I'm talking about, man. Hey, man, funerals and baby showers. You can add all the wedding, baby showers, and graduations, and I still ain't, and I still ain't, I still been to more funerals. So, PMC said, my man Bobo just lost his baby in a house, house fire. fire. And yeah. when I got on my knees that night to pray, I asked God, why you let them killers live and take my own boy son away? Mm -hmm. These niggas ain't talking like that no more. These niggas don't give a damn. No. Nah. Man. Check it, man. Hey, man, see greens in the building. It's a problem. Yeah. Okay, look. Uh-huh, look, heaven and hell is a hell and heaven Committed sins that I can tell the reverend pops ain't never tell me better I heard discipline and determination help your effort You are witnessing why these very haters felt the pressure I envisioned it, then I cleared away as now I never Pot and sentenced over the work, he want a pound of letters I'm repenting without the church, oh God allow me letters Look, 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 I'm repenting without the church of God allow me letters. I think I die down when I see her cats and growling numbers. I'm from the slums done, you can't sell crack without no wrenches. I own one so that payback come back in times and inches. I'm going dumb, but knowledge, they can't take that back what's in you. I know the real so I can tell a nigga that pretend to. Think I'm a check so she try to fuck me every time I rent through. And them IG likes don't pay them bills, don't act that brand new. Don't ever tell me what I can't do. You know the champ move, she the pack like an old freak and nigga ran through. I said yeah. the shipping number all week. I pray it land smooth. Niggas dip chat when she got ugly. Not talking camp crew. Come on. I'm sure they solid as red bottoms of Versace sandals. Over and under with these numbers like I'm playing fan do. Fuck up a summer, keep a plunger, all that shit get handled. You hear the hunger on my mama, you will get dismantled. I'm from the summer, how the sun is trying to get the plans through. Hold on, wait, wait. Okay, let's go. Yeah, look, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. gotta do this yeah. tatted up in this yeah. whole. Courtesy of Project Water. Look, courtesy of Project Water. Yeah, courtesy of Project Water. Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, courtesy of Project Water and that BGT. Niggas ain't seeing me. You know just who the hell I be in CNG. And I'm with Boss Talk, and I got a lift door. Know that I'm a big dog, and I took my pitfalls. Point guard, Chris Ball, this floor. All the times we had to pull, Chris Ball, which floor? Man, let me calm down for our bomb towns. Run around feeling like Saddam Brown. I'm round, let me fall back, cause you know though. All gray polo, all black, you know though. Got my partner kid, and he recording. Bowling like hard, 
Gordon's. No, it ain't no sport, and I'm important. I'm off the bench shooting Man. like I'm Gordon's. Houston, Man. losing, choosing. I, I steal them like you boosting. There's no for losing. Or am I losing? You know just how we moving. You know just how we doing. Yes, sir. Pin like all hold the up, hold 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 up, you well, know. you had to say the pimp. Yeah, man. you know what I'm Please saying? Please say the pimp. <laughs> I man. probably didn't say... want to say Scarface. Mm, yeah, yeah, I didn't know. You didn't say, want to say want Scarface. Jay and the pimp. And let's go, uh, let's let's switch up another genre. Sade. Sade, that's hard, boy. You that's hard. Saying. We get her a lot because she, she yeah. going to set the mood. But, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. I listen to that Nita Baker, man. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> That old go hard, boy. Yeah. Hey, I can just put that on and go to sleep, my nigga. Just mm. sweet love. <laughs> nah, yeah, for sure. Shout out man. To you, man. Shout so out. Uh, let me ask you this, man. Like, like, if you could go back and do it all over again, would you change anything? Nah, because it made me who I am. You know what I'm saying? You learn off experience. Shout out the locks. You know what I'm saying? But you learn That's from hard. your mistakes, though. Man, so, I mean, you know, man, like I said, man, we hope we got you and did you justice, man. You a Boss Talk one affiliate now, man. You down with the Boss Talk movement, man. If you ever come through Dallas or if you ever come through, come by the spot, man, come sit down and chat, chat with us anytime, bro. For sure. I be out there, like I say, I yeah. got people from Pleasant Grove. and uh, Oh, you in the Grove? Yeah, I got, man, my first grill came from Big you know Bro about the Grove? And Bruton's big. What you doing in Bruton Bazaar? Hey man, my first grill, my Aunt Donna, man, brought me my you first grill, man. 14 hey. years old. I go to, I, she took me to Bruton Bazaar. My really? people went to, uh, what's that baby blue and red school? Dallas, Sky, is it Skyline? Skyline, yeah. Yeah, baby blue and red, yeah, yeah. yeah. My people graduated from that on. I used there? to be going to Pleasant Grove all the time, take the Greyhound there. Them boys over there, man, it's a little group over there. It's a couple of groups over there, ain't it? Hey, them boys, shout out to that boy, Big Extra Plug. We down there in Houston. I'm, I'm interviewing other niggas now, Big X. I mean, shoot, I interviewed you. I need you back. You hear niggas dropping 16s and uh, 32s and 85s around this whole you know what I'm saying? <laughs> N